I remember being carried from the car into another car, which would have been the ambulance, lying on a bed and the doctor asking me, can you wiggle my toes? And um, not being able to. But I can't even imagine what my life would be like if I hadn't had that accident. It was quite a horrific accident for the whole family. I think they were quite concerned with the lack of movement from, you know, this little two and a half year old. It wasn't until a week later that they actually found that my spinal cord had been severed. We found out that she was a paraplegic. Yeah. It was, it was hard to get over. She actually had a first birthday in hospital. I've read things in my mum's diary that she kept at the time. My little girl's crippled for life. Her life is wrecked. It's not the, the life that parents would want their kids to start off with. Um, it's not nice growing up having to be carried when all your friends are kind of walking themselves around. You had to help her along the way, but she adapted pretty well. It was clear had a different attitude to life. It was really quick. 2004 was really like the first time I tried wheelchair basketball. In 2005, I was on the national squad. If I want to do well at something, then I'll really work hard at it. You're not going to do very well if you don't care. But I care a lot. It was definitely a hard process at the start. I think you need that hard work to become better for next time. There's a lot of people that you let down if you don't become better. I don't want to let down my teammates. I don't want to let down the supporters. It's a lot of self-motivation that you need to get through adversity. There's no such thing as can't, because he's trying to prove a point. I'm that proud of it. I'm in awe. As long as you're on the right path, making the right choices, aiming towards something, then it's going to make you better. I like being the best I can, and if things get in the way, then you just find ways around it.